Few musical rise and fall stories can match the tragedy of Amy Winehouse. She was the British soul siren who rose to prominence early this century, won six Grammys, and then succumbed to alcohol poisoning in July 2011 at the fateful age of 27. I don't think I'm going to be at all famous. I don't think I could handle it. I would probably go mad, you know what I mean? I would go mad. It's all there, and it's painful to watch in Amy, a documentary by British filmmaker Asif Kapadia, now opening in Toronto following its world premiere at the Cannes Film Festival. Kapadia expertly stitches together much previously unseen footage of Winehouse and uses her own words in her voice and via on-written, handwritten lyrics to show just how much songs like Rehab and You Know I'm No Good mirrored her life and emotions. I fell in love with someone who I would have died for. And that's like a real drug, isn't it? The film begins with a 15-year-old Amy joyfully singing happy birthday at a family event in 1998 and follows along on her roller coaster ride to fame, fortune and infamy when alcohol, heroin and other drugs increasingly became her crutch for coping with fame. There are many sad moments in Amy, not least of which is her visible deterioration from a striking femme fatale of beehive hair and cat's eye makeup into a skeletal figure of pity. The worst moments of all are watching the men who used her for personal gain. Her maneuvering father Mitch Winehouse, her heroin-enabling husband Blake Fielder Civil, and even guys like Jay Leno, who first welcomed her to perform on The Tonight Show and then started using her for cheap laughs in his monologue. Oh, it's a bit upsetting at the end, isn't it? This illuminating, compassionate, and tragic documentary goes way up and way, way down with the gone-too-soon Amy Winehouse. For TheStar.com, I'm Peter Howell.